everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk Streaming. Today we're going to be talking Stars. Yep, Stars, the streaming service that Lionsgate has owned for quite a while. Of course, it's a cable channel. Um, what about it? So, Stars was bought in 2016 by Lionsgate. Um, most importantly, the uh, owner of Lionsgate and so on, mer they merged together. And the goal was that stars was going to be the first of many of what they call um free radicals that lionsgate would own um this includes you know any of like the weird little independent um streaming services of course at this time this was when lionsgate was at kind of at their their peak which let me double check on that one so lionsgate in 2016 they had just i believe finished their hunger games um and so on and uh and so they were kind of at their peak of value yeah market project 2015. so they were kind of at their their peak of value they were worth 4.4 billion uh well they bought stars 4.4 billion um now they're worth only just 2 billion um they they haven't really had a big hit since in fact let me see if i can see if lionsgate when's the last time lionsgate had a major hit Oh, no, that doesn't do it. Let's have a look. So they had just bought them. And so let's have a look at all time box office for Lionsgate. So the biggest ones are Hunger Games. <laughs> they had La La Land. Now you see me. John Wick is them. So that's um, decent hits for them. Knives Out. Um, but of course, John Wick 3 made a third of what catching fire did but since they bought this one look at this john wick knives out wonder wow that did actually pretty good for them um divergent of course died um hitman's bodyguard hitman's wife bodyguard's wife so nothing really big and so they haven't really had a big hit since and so what they're going to do is they're spinning out stars stars will be its own separate company they want to make it a streaming competition and they're going to make it its own um, own company and they're going to spin it out. Here's what they said. As part of a star spinoff, a minority stake will be likely be sold to help set a market valuation for the public company. Vivendi's Canal Plus and private equity firm Apollo uh, Global in tandem with uh, Roku will have both made preliminary bids for 20% stake. Um, that probably makes it so Roku can have access to stars exclusives. Um, Stars and Landscape will do great uh, training separately, they said, and they'll pursue their own initiatives and opportunities and so on. Uh, deal coming out as soon as August 4th. Um, initial valuation of Stars likely valued between 2 to $4 billion. So here's what it says. After the spinoff, publicly traded Stars will have to get much bigger to compete with well, basically everyone. Paramount Plus, Discovery, every, all those ones are much bigger. Apple TV. Um, Stars, though, has currently 35.8 million subscribers worldwide. This includes uh, the cable channel version um a lot of shows on stars which we'll talk about in just a second um lionsgate tried selling stars in 2019 that did not work uh cbs was going to buy them but then they they just never finalize it um weirdly enough almost every company has been rumored to want to buy stars and they haven't so that's why they're spinning off on their own so what can they do um, it says that this gives stars one path uh, to get bigger, acquire or merge other companies. This includes stuff like AMC, A&E, AMC Networks is valued at $1.3 billion. So think about AMC Plus, pretty good service, which we've reviewed on here. That's one that they could merge with or get, um, A&E as well. And, uh, you know, that's one of the few things that, that they could do. So let's look at stars. This is stars. Hold on, look, Spartacus. Um... They have a lot of shows aimed at uh, females and black females to be exact. Um, Force, Outlander, and so on. A lot of high quality, um, critically well-reviewed shows. Um, Men and Kills. Uh, that does not a lot of eyeballs get on for some reason. Okay, um, They've had, you know, Spartacus has been a pretty good hit for them. I actually like all these shows right here. Uh, the White Queen, White Princess, Spanish Princess, so on. Um... But some of the bigger things that people get with them is they have Sony's uh, releases. So if you look at it, they have Ghostbusters Afterlife, they have Animal at Debris Carnage, and they're going to be getting No Way Home pretty soon. 
Let me have a look at this one. They're going to get No Way Home pretty soon, like 18 months before Disney Plus can get it, because they have to deal with Sony. Um, so they have a, a, a lot of stuff. The best thing for them is, if you want to see a Sony movie, that their, their new movies selection is usually pretty good. And I don't know why it's going slow all of a sudden. It hasn't gone slow like this for a long time. Their movie selection is pretty good. Their shows are okay. If you like that type of show, you know they have pretty much every show is high quality. It's whether or not you want to watch it or not. I do not know why it's uh, suddenly going really slow on this end. Weird for stars. So if I go home, it works. If I hit movies, it gets stuck. Huh. Okay, well, I just won't. So if look at new releases, here's some of the newer films that they've. Um... Why is it blocking? Huh. Weird. Yeah, still blocking there. Okay, some of the newer films they have there. You know, so they have newer new films. Um, some of them a lot closer to theaters than than being released, and uh, they're all in high quality. They stream really well, but it's just not a lot of stuff. So when they said they have to get bigger, that is true. They really do need to get a lot bigger if they want to compete with them. But Stars is also one of the cheapest. You can get Stars for like six months for like twenty five bucks. So what do we think is going to happen? Honestly. I'm not 100% sure. I would like them to merge with AMC because then AMC Plus can get even better. But the um, biggest thing is I'd hate to see this stuff go like, oh, look, No Way Home is coming on the 15th. I'll be watching that quite a bit. Of course, if you want to see the extended cut, that'll be in theaters. Um, here's some other stuff that we know is coming. So... So what do you guys think? Do you want stars to join with AMC? Do you want it to be absorbed by someone else? Um, do, do you like its content? What do you think about stars? But for now, it does look like Lionsgate spinning it off into its own thing. So it'll be Lionsgate and stars. And we'll see if one or both of them gets picked up by someone else. Right now, sign off in the comments. Mm -hmm.